Good morning. I wanted to come on and talk about the um, the shooting in California um, that happened at the country western um, party uh, party or bar. Um, I was watching the news this morning and there was this mother who lost her child and she said, you know, I don't want to hear any more prayers. I don't want to hear any more thoughts coming my way. I want gun control. I do not want to hear any more prayers. I do not want to hear any more thought, uh, thoughts. I want more gun control. So my question is, how does that solve the problem? We have, California has, is a state that has one of the most um, gun control laws in our country. So if gun control laws, if more gun control laws didn't help California in that situation, what, what is it? I mean, do we, are we going to become a nation where we are not able to protect ourselves at all? We're not able to have gun control. Uh, we're not able to exercise our second amendment right at all. Are we really looking to amend the constitution to where no American can have a gun? And that will just be susceptible to any criminal who is still able to get a gun because I guarantee you there is no criminal, no gang member, no thug, no one who obtains guns illegally anyway are going to come and turn in their guns. Now, law abiding citizens will turn in their guns. They'll do what the law requires, but ill, uh, people who obtain their guns illegally are not going to turn in their guns. So now you have bad guys with guns and good people with no guns to protect their families. And I just don't understand the thought process behind how you're going to affect the moral character of someone from the outside in, from the government coming in and, and, and making a law to change who you are on the inside. You know, it's a moral character issue. It is a moral character issue. It is not a state issue where the state can determine how to fix someone from the inside, who they are as a person. How would the state or any government come in and say, you know, poof, be changed and you and you have a mental uh, disorder or you are a criminal um it doesn't I, I mean even if you look at the recidivism uh, recidivism rate in on of criminals many times they commit crimes again it's a more even after they've been locked up so i mean when even when the state comes in it, it, they're not fixing the real problem so I don't understand this this push. I mean, it's not logical, people. It is not a logical idea that we're going to have criminals who are already committing criminal acts turn in weapons. Where? Where does that happen? I mean, there would be if if we relied on criminals to to do what was right, I guess then we wouldn't have criminals. I mean, it, it's, it, it is silly to, to think that outside enforces can come in, the state, the government, could come in and change who you are as a person and what you, how you think, what you should, you know, your moral character. Explain to me why that would make sense. Because bad people are not going to abide by the law. Explain to me how that how that makes sense. Just like in these other countries that have taken um, away all the weapons. Now people are getting killed with other weapons. Hammers and knives and all, all kinds of other things. They're getting killed just the same. They're, people are getting killed. Because it's, it's not an outside force other than God, in my opinion, because I am a believer, that can make, that can convert that true change within the inside. 
that can that can truly make you see value in life. I don't think the government can make you see value in life. Show me an instance where the government, the state, can make you see value in another human being's life. So that's my question. I understand it is hurtful. God knows I would be, God forbid that ever happened to my family. I pray that it doesn't. But I would, my first response would not be gun control. I would have hoped that I would have had my gun with me to protect my family. So my heart goes out to every single person, every single family member that has ever been the victim of a gun crime. But I suggest to you that the state coming in and trying to regulate law-abiding citizens is not the answer. Help me understand how 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 that that works. That's a legitimate question. I don't I mean I truly do not understand how taking away guns from good people will prevent either bad people or mentally ill people from doing what they would do an outside force like the government who doesn't know you, doesn't know your name, doesn't know anything about you coming in and regulating um, your life. That's my question. Someone please in the comments below, please let me know um, what the, the ideology behind that, how that would work. Y'all be blessed.